hello guys welcome to my 10 today we are going to discuss about the anatomy of the stomach so first of all stomach what do you think when it comes to stomach so what are the functions that you might think of generally stomach is the largest reservoir of the alimentary canal and it controls the rate of delivery of chyme into the duodenum delivery of chyme which is nothing but the digested food and it also controls the gastric secretions gastric secretions which are nothing but HCL and all other things and it also produces Castle's intrinsic factor Castle's intrinsic factor which helps in the absorption of vitamin B12 Alright, these are general functions of the stomach. So, we are going to discuss stomach under one general functions and two, we are going to discuss about its external features. We are going to discuss about its location, shape, size and capacity and other things. We are going to discuss about the parts of stomach and finally we are discussing about peritoneal relations peritoneal relations all right so coming to location of the stomach we can, we know already know that the stomach suppose if you don't know the region of abdomen is divided into nine regions right nine regions it is divided by two lines which are those two lines so one is the transpyloric plane and the other one is the transtubercular plane and then you have two lines along vertically to right and the left lateral plane so stomach is situated he here from the epigastric lower side of the esophagus and it comes like this So what are the regions? You know this is the epigastrium, right hypochondrium, left hypochondrium, umbilical region, right lumbar region, left lumbar region, right iliac fossa, left iliac fossa and the hypogastric region. So where is the stomach location? Location. It is located in the epigastrium, left hypochondrium, partly in the umbilical and left lumbar region. So that comes to the location of the stomach now we are going to discuss its shape generally stomach is having four types of shapes so first one is the inverted l shape inverted l shape so what do you think uh, inverted l shape will be inverted l shape will be like this In the lower end of his face like this you can see right the inverted l and the second type will be normal one which is nothing but as j-shaped so how do you find out the j-shaped j-shaped will be like this normal one you can see that this is the j-shaped stomach and the third one will be steer horn shaped steer horn how will be the steer horn shaped it will be like this can see right it is like a steer horn and the four type will be semi lunar shaped semi lunar so how will be the semi lunar shaped it will be like this semi lunar shaped understood right the four shape the shapes of the stomach inverted l shaped j shaped steer horn shaped and semi lunar shaped the location partly located in the epigastrium left hypochondrium umbilical and a little bit in the left lumbar region coming to the size so what is general size of the stomach it it varies up to 10 inches or it can be 25 centimeter and capacity 
what do you feel about the capacity of the stomach at birth it will be around 30 ml and during adulthood it reaches around 1000 ml and in adults it can be from 1500 to 2000 ml generally the capacity of the stomach varies according to different books so uh, this is the capacity of the stomach now we are going to discuss about the external features external features the stomach presents with two ends so what are the two ends one is the cardiac end and another one is the pyloric end second one it presents with two curvatures the lesser curvature and the greater curvature and it presents with two surfaces what are the two surfaces the anterior superior surface anterior superior and one more is the posterior inferior we'll just draw to understand so this is the stomach right this is the stomach and this is the lower end of esophagus lower end of esophagus and this part this end is the cardiac end cardiac and and this one this part is the pyloric and this is the greater curvature greater curvature and this one is the lesser curvature lesser curvature you understood right it presents the two ends the cardiac and the pyloric end two curvatures lesser curvature and the greater curvature and two surfaces the one you are seeing anteriorly this one is the anterior superior surface and behind the stomach what you are going to see it is the posterior inferior surface this is about the external features of the stomach so coming to parts of the stomach So, stomach has four parts. What are those four parts? Number one is the cardiac part. The second one is the body. Third one is the fundus. And the last part is the thing but the pyloric part. We will draw and understand the parts of the stomach. So this is stomach, right? Here, just inferior, uh, inferior of the esophagus, just reaching the stomach. This region is the cardiac part. Cardiac part. So along the cardiac part, the imaginary line that is drawn horizontal. This part very narrow one which is located superiorly is the fundus of the stomach then the along the lesser curvature of the stomach will draw a line this is known as uh, uh, angularis incisura incisura angularis this between the fundus and the incisura angularis this is the body of the stomach so cardiac part, fundus, body and the last part is nothing but the pyloric part. Generally, the inferior end of the esophagus connecting to stomach, this is the cardiac part. Along the cardiac part, you find a notch here, alright, this notch that you are going to see. This is the cardiac notch. Cardiac notch and line drawn transversely from the cardiac part horizontally. This is the fundus of the stomach and between the fundus and the pyloric part 
this is the body of stomach and between the body and last the pylorus this is the pyloric part so what do we discuss about uh, fundus fundus is relatively filled with gas or air and coming to body body is the widest part right widest and it is distended fully along heavy meals heavy meals heavy meals the body of the stomach will distend so much then coming to the pyloric part so we were discussing about the pyloric part right okay this is this stomach this all the inferior end okay yes this is i told you incisora angularis so pyloric part is divided into three parts right the first one is the pyloric antrum pyloric antrum it is connected to the body of the stomach connected to body the second one is the pyloric canal connecting to the pyloric antrum is the pyloric canal what is pyloric canal what it passes the chyme to the duodenum to pass the chyme to the duodenum which is the next part of course it is the pylorus pylorus right this is the pylorus this is the physiological sphincter physiological sphincter the pylorus regulates the delivery of the chyme into the duodenum it is very thick made up of thick muscles coming to peritoneal relations of the stomach what do we have in the peritoneal relations i'll just draw the stomach so yeah just to make you better understand it and on peritoneal relations one along the lesser curvature lesser curvature what other is along the lesser curvature the lesser momentum lesser momentum and along the lesser momentum what are touches gastro hepatic ligament and gastro duodenal ligament along the lesser curvature this is this is the lesser curvature right along the here is the liver so gastro gastro hepatic ligament and here you can find the duodenum right as a continuation gastro duodenal ligament so next peritoneal relation is the greater curvature greater curvature what do you see along the greater curvature we see the greater momentum just like that greater momentum so what do you see along the greater momentum along the greater momentum we see three things one is the uh, gastro splenic ligament connecting to the spleen the other one is the gastro phrenic ligament connecting the stomach greater curvature to the diaphragm so along the greater curvature we see the greater momentum which consists of the gastro splenic ligament and the gastro phrenic ligament so that is about the lesser curvature greater curvature that's all for the anatomy of the stomach if you really like the lecture please make sure to subscribe comment and please definitely like it so that it will encourage me to continue further videos thank you thank you one and all